Question number two of the Philnitz FE afternoon portion of the exam. In this question, we got a diagram here and we need to know where the final state is going to be at and also for each input that we get, what is the output? At the start of the question, We've been given some of the pointers that are actually the fundamental stuff that uh, we should have already known beforehand too. But just in case, they explain that the following symbols, the dot here and the plus sign and the negative there are supposed to be logical operators for AND, OR, and NOT respectively. And also... There are some things, some notes on what happens if we are at state zero and we get an input that is zero, where, where are we uh, going next, which state, and then if it's one, and so on and so forth. So these are explanation to the diagram, which is a lot clearer. And I remember about half a year ago when I was attempting to answer this question, this one seems difficult, but actually it's really quite simple because what we really need to do is to get the input signals here and then be able to find what is the output for each input signal and in the end, what will be the final state. For example, if we start at state zero, and the input signal says that it's zero first. So we go to zero and the output here is saying that it's zero and we're still in state zero. So that's why I have here this one here. And next we go to if it's one as the input signal, then it says here that we have to go to state number one and the output is again zero. So now we are in state 1. Next, the input signal saying 0. So if it's 0 as the input, we go back to state 0. And the output is again 0. Now, the next input signal is 1. And again, we go back to state 1. And the output there is 0. Now, this is the part that we need to know because the box for A has to have the, the numbers, the signals. Okay, so the next thing here is 1. If we get 1, then we go to state number 2 and the output is 1. That's why it's here 1. And then we have 1 again. 1 here at state 2 goes back to state 2. And the output is 1. Next, 0. We go back to state 0 and the output is 0. Finally, the last input signal is 1. And from state 0, we go to state 1 where the output is 0. So therefore, the final state is state 1. And as for the output signals, we have here 1, 1, 0, 0. And now we need to know which among the choices would have these values. It says here that for answer a, the answer group for A, we have here 11004 letter C, so that's why that's the answer. And then for answer group for B, the last state is state 1, that's why the answer for this answer group is B.